guys, welcome back to my channel. I am taking you on a little tour of my studio today. It's been a while since I've shown you. I think I last posted a little tour um, in last August, I want to say, of 2019. Uh, I think it was before my grand opening and studio tour here on the island. Uh, so a lot has changed. It's a lot messier than it was before. Um, and there's a lot of new pieces in here and thankfully a lot of ones that are gone so they found new homes. Um, so come along with me and I'll walk you through and show you all my new pieces and older pieces. So there's just a mixture of everything here. So we'll just do this quickly before we start this brand new painting today. All right, so we're gonna start on this wall. This is when you first walk in off to the left of my studio. And for those of you who don't know, this was a very, very old shed or workshop garage I don't know we bought the place about three years ago and it was pretty run down and we converted it over to my studio so I've got a mixture here of paintings inspired by living on the island and a lot of my fantasy pieces also a lot of pieces inspired by living in the Rockies the Canadian Rockies um, there's a few pieces here oh there's my little dog Tilly she's a palm she's she's really sweet I love her she always joins me in my studio um, there's a mixture of everything in my studio, uh, lots of fantasy pieces, northern lights, um, I've got some prints that I'll show you guys in a few minutes as well. Now this piece is one of the favorite spots of mine that we hike to. And then I've got my largest pieces up there on the top. And then I'm running out of room as you can see so I've got piles of paintings lined up there that one you may recognize there was a tutorial for that and those as well so here are my large prints and then I sell these at the galleries and here in my shop and online And I've also got a tutorial on how to make uh, your own prints if you guys are interested in learning how to take your art a little bit further. I'll try to remember to add a link for that one in the description below. This is one of my favorite ones. And this one too. I painted this one about oh, maybe six, six or seven years ago. And here's the next wall. An owl I painted <clears throat> two years ago. And here, Cathedral Grove inspired, Tofino inspired, all the places I've been on vacation play a big, big part in um, inspiring a lot of my artwork. And a lot of fantasy stuff. I just have a big imagination and love to just create from my mind and um, imagination. And here this one is very recent on my channel. Love Monet, one of my favorite artists. Here we have a big blue heron. So sometimes I paint animals and birds. And then here I've got a few of my cards that I also sell at the galleries and online. So I make prints into um, cards. I put them on mugs. Uh, you can make little books. There's so many things you can do with your art. Its possibilities are endless. So we've got another castle painting down here, a really big one with underwater. And then a few of my aluminum prints, more ocean pictures with sailboats. Some of these paintings are actually um, done from my photographs that I've taken. That one right there. And then we've got the tropical one down there that you guys saw recently on my channel. That was a fun one to do. So 
some more northern lights and then here's my last wall some little paintings that one of the lady on the swing is another tutorial some of my paintbrushes I've got oh well over a hundred and then I also make resin seashells and then I've got my easel right over here where I paint right with the window light and that's it I hope you guys enjoyed watching this let's go ahead and get started with this painting now thanks guys So welcome back to my studio. If you're new here, thanks so much for tuning in and joining my channel. So I'm just going to go over the colors right away. We've got neon pink, yellow, white, phthalo green, phthalo blue, and cobalt blue. I might add a few more colors later on, and I do always post all of the colors and brushes down in the description below, as well as links to Patreon, uh, Instagram, Facebook, all that fun stuff. Um, today we're working on another black primed canvas. This is an 11 by 14. I primed it and let it dry completely before beginning this painting. So what we want to do is work on the background first and then build up to the foreground. So to do that, I'm going to take a little bit of white, a little bit of phthalo green, and I'm going to go in a diagonal brush stroke angle like that just using any flat brush or blending brush this is my favorite brush it's one of my oldest brushes it's a two inch and then I'm going to take just a little bit of water some more of that green and I'm going to come around the outside making it a little bit darker it's all about uh, dark to light everything we want to be drawing us into the center of this painting. So I'm going to take a little bit of white and just a tiny bit of yellow now. I'm going to do that again. Add a little bit more white to that one. And then right in here, I'm going to begin pulling lines for a staircase. There'll be one right at the bottom. Okay, I'm going to switch to another brush now my number 11 flat brush and then I want to take some of my dark blue cobalt blue with my phthalo green and I'm going to turn my brush this way so in between each stair I'm going to turn my brush this way making it wider We can add just, just a little bit of that turquoise in there that we made. Just to lighten that up slightly. Barely touching the canvas. Now when these stairs get further up, they're going to be a little bit farther away. So we're going to make them a little bit lighter and shorter. Now I'm going to add a little bit of a highlight white with that light turquoise, a little bit of yellow. So right here, line your brush up straight and lightly pull. Lightly pull just on that, right above that dark line. I'm going to take a little liner brush and just add a few little trees kind of highlighted and faded way back there. Just taking some water on my liner brush and a little bit of white. And we'll just, not thinking too much, just start adding a few little lines for 
branches. I think our archway will go something like that. That's kind of kind of be the shape, anyways, in there. And if you want to add a little shadow, you can take your flat brush and carefully, carefully just wipe off a little bit like that. But I think I want to make light cobalt blue. Grab a bunch of that white with that cobalt. Roll it around, get a little ball on the tip of your brush. And so it's all about how much, it's up to you how much contrast and shadow you want. I really like incorporating this light blue for my shadow colors and paintings. It's one of my favorite colors. It's like a purpley blue. And it plays a lot on any uh, turquoise or um, peach that you have in a painting. It's complementary to both green and uh, peachy colors. Why don't we just have these trees kind of growing in here around over top of those steps. I think that looks neat. Okay, so now we're ready to take our large brush this is my favorite magic brush here, and you want any mop brush, large stippling brush, anything like that. I'm going to take my cobalt blue, and I'm going to start tapping kind of in this midsection right here. And I'm going to do the same thing right up here. So not right against the edge of the canvas. And not right into the green, but kind of midway there. Right. Then I'm going to take a little bit of white. make that light blue color again and we'll just pick a few of these to start adding beautiful highlight to just keep in mind it will dry a little bit darker I can't see that enough I always tell you guys that in each tutorial And then I want to take phthalo blue next. So I just uh, wiped off the excess paint on a towel and I'm going to go into my phthalo blue. Tap like that just to get that nice, keep that nice shape on the bottom. And I'm going to overlap slightly here. I'm going to start bringing it kind of in and over growing across part of these stairs. And then we'll sneak some up here. Okay, now we're going to go into our white. And add a pretty highlight.
Okay, now I'm going to take a little bit more white, a little bit of my phthalo green. This time, I want it to be kind of half a size, so I'm pushing, kind of squishing and tapping the brush like that. And let's see if we can... You know, that's not really showing up that well, so I think we should take a little bit more white and try that again. do is just take a little bit more of my blue and green and come right down in here. A little bit more of a shadow in here. A little bit more. put some little pillars right here. Have some little pillars. Take a little bit of white and pull over, pull over, pull and twist. liner brush I think to this just to make that a little bit more defined so pull over line it up pull and twist make a neat design up here. It's a really pretty inviting archway. I always like to add my drips to my painting, especially when I'm working on garden landscape like this. So I'm just going to take these blues with a little bit of that white, a whole lot of water. You want it to be dripping like this, obviously, so that you have enough that it will drip down. And let's go. Let's take a little bit of our turquoise white. Now you don't have to start them right at the top. It makes it easier because you can push like that. While those are dripping away, I'm going to go to my mini fan brush and I'm going to take a little bit of white and maybe a little bit of pink. I want to make a cute little pink tree. It's so really light and maybe there's a little cherry tree back here. Break time right now, so why not? I love little cherry trees. Cherry blossom trees are so pretty. A little bit like that. I 
a little bit lighter in some spots. I'm going to take a little bit of, let's take a bit of yellow. Make sort of a pretty peachy color. Maybe we'll have a little bush right here where it's nice and light back there. I wonder if we take these colors. We have a whole bunch of water. And we drip a little bit. We'll drip a little bit like that. And then at the top, you can just take a little mop brush like this. And just tap. Tap it away like that. I'm going to come in with my fan brush again. I just cleaned it off. And I'm going to take more cobalt blue. And make some branches along here. Let's help guide that one down. You can pull just with the corner of a brush like this. You can pull, pull some little branches. Right in here. I'm going to use this oval brush and I'm going to take a whole lot of pink on the tip of my brush like that and maybe we'll have a little pop of pink right here and maybe in here. When it mixes in with the blue, it's going to dry darker. It'll be more of a purple color. I'm going to take some white now. Make it slightly brighter. I can also take a little bit of yellow. Tap the two together like that. Yellow and pink to make a nice bright orange. And maybe we'll have a sneak a little bit right in there. I'm going to go over to my little fan brush, pick up some white. Just soften that a little bit. Take some more pink. I'm going to go back to my flat brush and take some of that green, blue, and just go right underneath there. Take some of that off and tap in some shadows here. Now I'm going to add some red. I'm using a nice cad, crimson red actually. I'm going to use my same fan brush here. Tap in. And I think I want to start adding some right in here. Some over here. This garden's got it all. We want to add all of those colors in. Then I can take some of my pink, pink and red. I 
drag some of that in here. Maybe we'll have one branch that just comes down like this. A little bit of white mixed in with that. A little bit of a little bit of highlights in here. Loosen that paint up. Just loosen it right up. Get all that water on there. It's a very drippy kind of painting today. Okay, then I think up here at the top. We'll take some of our phthalo blue, that pinky red color, and just start tapping up here. And then kind of just flicking. Oh, that's pretty. See, when you have so many layers of wet on wet paint, you can really have fun playing around with it like that. You can kind of make little loops and scoops. Now with my number four filbert brush, I'm going to take some of my phthalo green a little bit of white, a little bit of yellow, maybe a little bit more green, make it a bit darker. I get it on the tip of my brush like that. And maybe we'll have some maybe we'll have some leaves in here. And you're gonna have to be a lot darker than that though. Let's grab just a little bit of that red. And just start adding little leaves like that. And we've got some down in here. Just by tapping with your filter brush, you can bring all that green in. See, I just got red, sap green, or phthalo green, I mean, and yellow. There's a bit of that white in there, and you can just make really neat colors. That one needs a bit more yellow. And then push and twist. have some big ones coming down here creating some shadow right there I think we need some I'm going to take all three colors like that a little bit more yellow a little bit more green you don't want it to be completely red I 
and just start, just start adding them. And they can get smaller and smaller. Push, pull, and twist. I take a little bit more of my pink. more pink where I really want it to pop out some more. We take some yellow Take some yellow like that. Maybe we've got some little bits of lighter leaves in there. Who knows? Little leaves, little flowers. Just having fun with color like we always do. I think right in here, I just want to make that blue, light blue color again with the cobalt blue and the white. A little bit of water on my brush. I'm going to add some, I'm just going to pull into that little drip there. Add some little tree trunks in here. Little branches, make that stand out a little bit more. Take some yellow and white. Very soft, pretty. Butter yellow. Add some yellow back there, I think. We need a little bit back here. And take some white. Add some more highlights to the stairs. Same light color we just used. You kind of just create a glow by slightly outlining some of these up here. I don't think I'm done with the drips yet. I think I need more. I'm going to take my phthalo blue and white. I'm going to need a different brush probably for this. I'm going to need a different brush. I've just got this little one. little flat brush. There we go. Back 
back to my liner. A little bit of white, a little bit of that blue. Let's just add a few little branches in there. Making a little bit more blue back here. Layer it over and create a bit of a filter. A bunch like that. I'm just using my filbert brush again, but you can use any, any brush that you want. Take some of that red, green, yellow. My blue is still in the brush too. Push in some leaves up there. Push, pull, and twist. Put some there too if you want. So what I'm going to do is completely dry this off and then I'm going to come in with uh, some more sun rays. Okay, so because the paint is really wet and we did a lot of drips and used thick amounts of paint, it's actually taking a lot longer to dry. I'm just going to try to do this really carefully and if I happen to pick up some paint, which I'm sure I will along the way, I'm just going to go with it and hope that it looks pretty. Wish me luck. So I'm going to use just my little half inch flat brush, take some white, and I'm going to begin right in here. That looks kind of pretty. I picked up a little bit of that drip down there, but you know, sometimes it kind of works and it looks uh, kind of just hazy and pretty. And maybe just one back here. Kind of like that. Take some of it off. I think I just want to add some, a little bit of, a little bit of yellow and phthalo. And I'm just going to tap a little bit of a highlight up here. So just by tapping, you can get that kind of um, leaf look. Just brighten these ones up a little bit because they're looking a bit black as they dry. Maybe I just want to add a little bit of there, just a little bit of red in there. Take my little filbert brush. Make a few little, a few little dangly lines in here, just with this red. Okay, all done, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed watching this one today. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more. And uh, I wish you a wonderful day. Happy painting, guys. Stay positive and creative out there. See you next time. Bye.